I believe that AI will completely transform education uh, in ways that uh, I feel we don't yet fully grasp. As the new school year begins, educators are working to adapt to the ongoing technical advances of artificial intelligence. Dr. Mohammed Abdul Majid is an AI expert and associate professor at UBC. He believes AI can be an extremely powerful tool in education when used the right way. You know, I want to see UBC as an AI first university. And, and that just means that, you know, we uh, recognize the importance of the technology. But striking a healthy balance is something he says schools are struggling with. Schools are trying to set boundaries with students to ensure AI is used ethically and doesn't take away from their learning experience. We care about uh, the ability of students to be uh, strong problem solvers, critical thinkers, uh, well-rounded across the board. And uh, so we don't want to see students just, uh, you know, uh, by default using these tools to get things done. We have the university who's drafting a policy where it's like, okay, here's where you're allowed to use AI for learning, and here's where it delves into more like cheating and academic misconduct if you're using AI to generate work for you versus if you're using it to learn. And there are risks educators are wanting their students to be more aware of. The tools um, make mistakes. They will continue to make mistakes. They quote unquote hallucinate. They fabricate facts sometimes and so on. He says these so-called hallucinations are the nonsensical or misleading information that those using AI in their work need to look out for. But things are always changing. What we will see next year is not, uh, you know, in its scale, is not comparable uh, to what we saw this year vis-a-vis -vis last year. So it's an exponential growth. It's, it's kind of like, you know, moving very, very fast. One of the things that we are learning right now is that it is a tool that we have to use if we want to be on the cutting edge. In Vancouver, Angelina Ravelli, City News.